hey guys welcome back to my channel i literally just got up um threw my hair up in a bun i am starting a vlog here today i might do just a little weekend vlog saturday sunday we'll see and first things first though i am gonna go get some coffee to wake up a bit and i need to get quite a bit done this morning i'm actually going to the state fair tonight so i have to leave at like one um and i'll be there for most of the day so i'll take you guys along with me there but let's go get some coffee Got the coffee, went to my favorite place in town, which is just a small local shop. They have my favorite coffee ever. It's called an Iced Dutch Boy. It's just one of their specialty drinks, and it is so good. I seriously get it pretty much every single day. I would like to start making coffee at home, but we haven't got to that point yet. This is just what makes me happy right now, and I need happiness. So, got that. I am going to hop in the shower real quick. Um just do a real quick body shower i don't think i need to really do a whole lot so i probably won't even really share my routine i don't even know what i want to use today but i have been enjoying picking out like my scents with you guys in these vlogs you guys seem to like it but this is just going to be a very basic body cleanse here i think i just kind of want to smell clean today so we might do a little white t-shirt today this is one of the cleanest smells. It's so hot. I'm going to be outside for most of the day. So I just want to smell, I think, clean. So none of my other, like, foodie kind of scents mix with the outside or mix with the fair food scents, you know. So we'll see. Maybe I'll put a different perfume on later. But for now, we're just going to do a little white t-shirt today. I think I'm going to go ahead and burn a candle too this morning just to, again, get some good vibes going. Um, even though I'm not here that long. I think I want to use the pumpkin spice latte since we did get coffee this morning. I have been burning this Midnight Amber Glow. And I don't, I don't think it's very strong in the candle. I much prefer the body care. So that one is kind of a fail right now. Alright, so for our actual like lotion scent of the day. I think I'm going to try the Poppy today. I feel like this would be just a really nice fresh kind of scent for today. So I'm going to go ahead and wear the body cream with the fragrance mist. All right, so we got all of our hygiene done today. I honestly just brushed up my hair. It has been very smooth. This is like three-day hair. I threw in my favorite Redken dry shampoo, and that's pretty much it. But I really have been loving. Let me show you. I think this spray really does the trick. I showed this in a Sephora haul, this Wow uh, Dream Coat. It's supposed to really help with frizz. And usually when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my hair is just like a disaster. It's frizzy. It's all over the place. And I feel like this has really helped when I use this on like just washed hair. And then I dry it with my Dyson and do it straight. And my hair, I feel like it lasts longer. So all I really have to do today if I do want to like straighten it is just run my flat iron through. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my hair today. Lately I've been doing a lot of half up with a little clip. And I've been liking that since it is like 98 degrees today. I don't know uh, what we're going to do. We'll see. So yeah, that's all I did to my hair. I've actually just been packing a few Poshmark orders quickly this morning to get to the post office before noon. Um, it's a pretty decent time right now. So I think I'm going to head that way. I'm always listing new things on my Poshmark store. You guys know I, I love trying out new products, but sometimes I got to declutter stuff as well. So I've really been trying to declutter my life lately. So I have a lot of stuff going up. I just worked on listing some clothing last night. So if you guys are my size, want to check that out. I'm going to have some really cute fall pieces on there because, yeah, I'm trying to downsize in all aspects here. But I had a few orders to go ahead and get shipped out, so I quickly packaged those up. Also wanted to mention I have been watching a bunch of Disney vlogs this morning because Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party started yesterday. So this is my favorite Disney vlogger, paging Mr. Morrow. He's just so happy and fun. I've been watching his video this morning to kind of see what's all new at the Halloween party because I did book a kind of... It was kind of a random trip for Halloween. I don't know. I just... Disney is my happy place and... I really wanted to go to the Not So Scary Halloween Party. I love Halloween. I love Disney. And I went back in 2018, I think. My husband and I went. Um, but now I think I'm going to go with one of my friends, Christine. She loves Disney as well. My husband, he's not big on Disney, but we do take like a big Disney trip together maybe once every two years. But 
I think me and Christine might start doing a couple more Disney trips as well together to have fun, get some content. I just really enjoy going there. So I have my Halloween party booked in October. So I'm checking out what's kind of new and exciting, what to eat, what to do. It looks like it's gonna be such a fun time. Look at this mess I gotta put away, um, but I just filmed a TJ Maxx haul. Like I said, it's a very busy morning. We're getting a lot done, being productive. At last if I need to put away, um, but I actually think I want to quickly get this edited and uploaded. It shouldn't take too long, I would think, like maybe, maybe an hour. So then about that time, we should be heading out to the fair. But yeah, I'm going to try and get this done. It's not too long of a video and I want to have something up because I didn't upload yesterday. Also trying a new foundation, which is a little risky um, since we're going to be outside most of the day, but I'm going to bring my makeup to touch up um, since it's going to be a longer day. But this is a new foundation from Chanel and it actually looks so beautiful on the skin. Um, it is a, it's called the Water Fresh Tint and I'll show it to you guys. It's really pretty. Let me get this these files on here real quick. This is the looks of the foundation. Isn't it cool how it's like these little dots in here? And it's literally water-based, um, very natural on the skin. It feels like nothing on it. So I feel like maybe this would be nice for today, like out in the heat. Um, I just don't know how glowy it's going to be, but this is like a little tint. It just really perfects the skin, and I'm really liking it so far. I've been able to wear a lot more tints lately, so I've been really liking that look because um, my skin has been a lot better. I actually started using tretinoin on my skin, which I got from the dermatologist. You do have to get a prescription. I really wanted it to help with some fine lines it's supposed to be great anti-aging for fine lines because it really um, helps the cells turn over in the skin but it's also great for acne which I do also struggle with and you'll I'll like get like a little zit sometimes like maybe after wearing my foundation certain times I'm just my skin is prone to being congested and like I'll do my cream it's a bit drying but I can notice my like zit is gone overnight so it does really help with that and it helps get rid of acne and acne marks and I just feel like my skin has been looking so much better even though I just have been using it a week every single night I can't use anything else with it because it is drying um, I'll just do like a basic cleanser and last night I did it with a moisturizer at night just to add some extra moisture in I think it's been helping so far and I think I already do notice a difference in like my forehead lines too so I've been using that and I can't wait to kind of use it a bit more and I've been using it every night so far and I might just cut back a little bit as my skin gets better um, and just kind of work it in here and there because I just I feel bad that I can't use pretty much any of the other skincare I have but anyways I think my files are done so I'm gonna try and quickly get this video up pack a quick makeup bag and an outfit change for tonight too because we're going to a concert at the fair it was actually my friend who really wanted to go but it's nelly <laughs> um throwback to like 2000s but it should be a fun time um, and i definitely want to show you guys all the fun fair foods i'm going to try as well so i went ahead and got ready i'm actually about to head out to a drive to des moines for the fair but I did not get my video up. I don't know what the deal is. I tried exporting it on my computer and it was just taking forever and it wasn't even that long. So I don't know what's happening there. Sometimes it just is so slow at times. So I didn't even get the footage exported before I had to go. Otherwise I totally would have got the video done. So I'll just have to post that one tomorrow. But I just put my hair half up again. I just used the little clip and yeah my friend's already up there i'm meeting her up there she's camping at the fair so at least we have a little rest spot if we need to cool down because it's it's a hot one today and she said it's already hot um we'll see i brought a bunch of other stuff with me like makeup to touch up i brought a hair tie if i need it so yeah we'll see how it goes this is my outfit for today i just went with a tank top just basic and some shorts since it is warm and then i have my tevas on and my fanny pack from louis so that is the outfit i'm going to change i think for the concert later into maybe jeans and a black tank so we do have an outfit change but yeah i've never vlogged at the fair before so hopefully this goes well i feel sometimes weird when there's like so many people around we'll see what kind of fun foods we can find and i'll show you guys everything at the iowa state fair so let's go i'm gonna go meet my friend at hy -Vee.
which she's gonna show me where her camping spot is. Okay, as so we made it to the fair, hopefully you can hear, I switched to my phone, but I got my first food. Stacy, this is my friend Stacy, by the way. Hi guys. <laughs> she got an apple slushie. This is a pickle dog, so it's like a pickle, cream cheese, I think ham. So good. Did you get the spicy one? No, absolutely not. Okay, regular cream cheese, <laughs> not spicy. Regular, yeah. They have spicy too, but I don't do spicy. So here's the inside. As you can see, there's pickle, hand cream cheese, and it's deep fried. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna have sunglasses lens this whole video, but it's fine. But anyways, our first food is done, and we're gonna grab another one. There's gonna be a lot of eating in this video. <laughs> and maybe we'll explore some other parts too. It is so hot, and it is packed. It feels today. like 96. Absolutely packed. Alright, the next thing we're gonna go do is check out the butter cow, which is really popular here. I don't know, it's just a giant butter sculpture cow that they have every year. And sometimes they add in something extra too made out of butter. So we'll go see if we can check it out. It's gonna be pretty packed though. Okay, so this is new this year. I figured I would try it. It's the pork picnic in a cup. It has like pork belly, baked beans, coleslaw, some Frito chips on the bottom. Very interesting, but it looks pretty good. The general consensus is that it actually is pretty good. I actually do like this. I wonder if they'll keep having it, but it's hard to get to the chips on the bottom, but the chips are really good mixed with like the pork and beans. But yeah, I actually do really like this. All right, we went into the baby animal building and they have a bunch of little chicks. A lot of them are just born. So cute. This is the best part. We love to watch the ducks and they're just born, but eventually sometimes they go down that slide there, but they're all just kind of eating all the food. All right, so we're heading out back to the camper, but we want to check out, they have like these prize-winning pumpkins here. So these are huge. <laughs> and here's the first place one. What is it, 4,000? 1,000. 1,281 pounds. Crazy. All right, so we have been back at the camper now, just kind of resting, because yeah, it was pretty hot. We were like sweating like crazy. So we want to take a little break here. I'm going to touch my makeup up because we're going to the concert tonight. By the way, my friend's camper is super, it's like a glamper. It's really nice. I absolutely love it. We're going to the Nelly concert with Genuine. So it should be a good time. That starts at 8, but I think we're going to head out at 6.30. Um, but yeah, so we just did a really quick run through of the fair. I go every year, so it's not like I check out every single little exhibit and stuff. I mostly like to check out the food. I like to go to the baby animals um, and yeah, that kind of stuff really. Most people go to the state fair to eat the food because the Iowa State Fair is one of the biggest ones and we have like the most kind of crazy foods, everything on a stick, all that. But there's a couple things I might want to still get tonight, some ice cream maybe, we'll see. I got uh, like a state fair lemonade on the way back but I'm really not going to do much with my makeup, just touch it up a little bit. I, I would say it still looks okay for how much I've been sweating this today but I'm probably gonna soon do the same hairstyle as well so I'm gonna get ready and we'll probably head down to the grandstands
hello guys it is the next day i had so much fun at the fair yesterday i'm so sorry i really did not get a whole lot of footage we were only really like checking stuff out for a couple hours it was so hot that day so i really just didn't get a whole lot of footage besides trying some new foods um my favorite food of the fair i have to say is actually something i didn't film but i did take like a little video for my instagram so i'll insert it here and they had it's called like a puff sunday and it was just an ice cream sunday um but it tastes like a s'mores basically like it had a giant marshmallow in it little marshmallows hot fudge little graham cracker crumbles and a vanilla wafer cookie in it that was probably my favorite favorite thing that i tried at the fair it was a new item they always have new food items um each year and people like vote for the best one so i have no idea who's gonna win but that was definitely my favorite thing i tried the concert was really fun just hearing all the fun nostalgic songs we had a lot of fun just dancing singing along everyone was just having a blast it seemed and it was pretty full i'm really surprised how full the concert was um i do kind of wish me and my friend kind of talked both about this but that nelly would have sang a little bit more a lot of his stuff was like just like, I know he has so many collabs with other artists so it's hard to do but he just kind of did it almost like this mashup um and he would play like maybe 45 seconds of one song then move into like the next popular one but I would have loved to hear like the whole thing he did play a few of his country songs as well which I was familiar with a few of them like I know a little bit um he did with Florida Georgia Line he also sang Cruise which was kind of weird I think he has a remix with them but overall it was it was a fun show <laughs> and I'm glad I was able to go today I've just been kind of relaxed Relaxing, taking it easy. I am about to list a bunch of candles in my Poshmark. I've been needing to do this for a while. I have this entire box full. I really can't lift this up because there are so many in here. Doing a little decluttering as I mentioned earlier and I think it's a no makeup day today. I'm gonna throw on a show, uh, Never Have I Ever, has a new season out. It's cute. I sometimes like like younger high school-ish kitty stuff like that. I don't know. It's cute to me. I like watching it. So I'm actually re-watching season two and then I'm gonna start the new one. So that's what I'm watching today. Oh my gosh, me and my husband, we rented the movie Elvis yesterday. It's on Amazon for rent, finally. My husband doesn't like to go to the theater, so we always watch stuff at home. I literally paid 20 bucks for it. I've been waiting to watch it and I was not disappointed and he actually said it was one of the best movies he's seen in a while as well. So I think that Elvis is a must see. It is so good. Um, but yeah, you can rent it now on Amazon. Um, I don't know. I think it's supposed to come on HBO Max probably if you guys have that soon. Um, but I just couldn't wait any longer. I had to watch it. It was so worth it. So that's the plan. It's super boring, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys enjoy these kind of weekend vlogs and want to see more. Uh, we're actually going camping next weekend, so maybe I can vlog that as well. Should be fun. I've never really been actual camping before, so it, it, it really should be interesting, but I think we're going to go out. I want to get some books for the trip, and then we're just camping locally, so it's not really a trip. It's like a staycation. Um, we're going to make a lot of food on the grill. Um, but I plan to read a lot. We're going to take our bow as well. So it should be fun. Something different. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.